Now you may have seen some of these special semi trucks out on the roads recently. They are part of one of ODOT's Drive Ohio automated driving systems projects. Now they're currently testing how to improve safety for drivers, passengers and other travelers out on our rural roadways through enhanced automation. The goal really is to figure out what some of the challenges are with rural roadways and the varying characteristics on, you know, in a Midwest um, setting, and then try to come up with different ways that the technology could be revised in the future. Bart Cooper is one of the drivers testing the technology on the semis that travel in pairs. We have six different routes that we go through through the state of Ohio, where we go into platoon mode, which is gathering data. Um, it's pretty much like an adaptive cruise control system in a regular passenger vehicle, but the trucks are linked together through computer and GPS systems. They're also very nearly linked with how closely they drive together, the distance of which can be set by the driver inside the specially outfitted cab. Drive Ohio partnered with Dublin-based Ease Logistics for the federally funded project, and together they hit a milestone this past week by being the first automation test system to actually deliver freight. We're always looking for new innovative ways to change and move forward the transportation industry. So it seemed like the perfect combination for us, and we were lucky enough to be awarded the host fleet for this project. And that freight that they delivered, guys, is pretty cool. It was some handcrafted wood furniture from Columbus-based, a Carpenter Sun design company to a professional sports franchise in Cleveland. And this is just the first project that they will be doing with ODOT and E. Soon they will be testing on the very heavily traveled Indy to Columbus Interstate 70 corridor. They're going to start that here in a few months. And, of course, we will be doing a story on that one as well, Matthew. All right, interesting stuff. Thank you, Christine.